Next on the channel, we're going to take a look at this 1858 Remington revolver, and that's what's next on Bacon Firearms Reviews. A little history about the Remington 1858. Uh, it was, of course, made in 1858, but later on, Remington made the uh, new Army model, which was all steel frame. This is the brass frame. A lot of the soldiers during the Civil War loved this because you just bring down this loader lever, then you just pull out the axis. Now you can just take out your cylinder, just like that. And they, what they used to do in the Civil War is have a lot of these preloaded, and they used to have little pouches, so it's like a little mag reload. On the Colt 1860, the problem with that, you had to take the whole front barrel off to get to the cylinder, and that was a big problem. And this was like innovative. This wasn't like a standard uh, revolver at the time because the 1860 Colt was the standard. You had basically had to know someone and kiss a lot of butt to get one of these during the uh, Civil War. Yeah, just a lot of great history on this revolver. How cap and ball works, first off, we're going to put the cylinder back in really quick. Put it in there. You do, do a little half cock. Slides in there. Then the center axis goes right in. Then you put the loader lever up. And how cap and ball works is you will low each cylinder powder, and this could take about 35 grains of black powder, then with the ball, then you use some sort of lube over the ball. It's uh, called ball lube. It's for, that way you don't have chain fires in your cylinder, so you don't have all your cylinders going off, and that was the big deal at that time, so you always had to lube the front of the ball just to prevent that. So after you load it, you use this lever here to push the ball right into the cylinder, and you do that about six times. And over here, you see these little nipples. All right, so these nipples right here would have a percussion cap. You'll see it in the video. It's just a little copper-colored uh, cap, kind of like a toy cap gun you had as a kid, but it just works the same way for this. So when the cap goes off, there's little holes going into the cylinder, and when that goes off, when the hammer hits it, it creates a spark, goes in the cylinder, and throws the ball right out. So it's kind of a simple design, but for the time, this was like, you know, ultimate assault, I guess, gun, revolver, whatever you want to call it, um, of the time. So you didn't have those single shot uh, percussion caps like they had, and only shoot one shot and load each one. Now you had six shots ready to go. So that's basically how it is, and you'll see it when we go out the range, uh, how this works. And it's pretty dang accurate, as you can see in the video. Yeah, that's really dang accurate how this thing was. As you can tell in the video on the steel plate, there's a lot of group, big groupings on there about this big around. I'm going to say about, you know, two inch group for at 25 yards. That's pretty good for, you know, 19th century technology. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a whole lot of fun. Big fan of uh, black powder and hopefully you'll become a good uh, fan of black powder just like I am. And remember, like always, have a bacon of a day.